Hi everyone, it's Kill81 here, and welcome to the 50th video in my Steam Library adventure. So my Steam Library adventure is me going through my unplayed Steam games. So here we are, game number 50. I actually cannot believe I've actually made it. When I started this, I thought, ah, it won't keep going, but it has. Uh, there's still a long, long way to go, because we're still in C, in the alphabet, but you know, eh, it is what it is. But anyway, let's go actually see what the 50th game is going to be. Well, my Steam library. And the last game I played was Corridor Z or Z or whatever. You know what? Whatever. Uh, yeah. 60 minutes in total. Well, 74, but the first was a fake. So I think I played Counter-Strike. Yeah. 38 minutes. Probably played about, I don't know, eight years ago. Uh, but I know I played that. And I'm not a big fan because I pish at it in 38 minutes. So we don't need to worry about playing that again. Thank the gods. Crusader Kings 2. Nine minutes. So not actually played. Um, for those that have seen the other videos, as you all know, I tend to set 10 minutes uh, as, a, as a minimum. If I played over 10 minutes, I tend to think I may have actually played it. Uh, although there are a few I know are over 10 that I haven't played. But I remember that. This one, um, I'm sure I haven't played it. So, nine minutes is fine. So, we'll um, click on it. Uh, store page. Uh, explore one of the defining periods in world history in an experience crafted by the masters of grand strategy. Really doesn't tell me anything, does it? Doesn't tell you anything at all. But, let's go be a king. And, Crusader Kings too. Here we are. Um, I don't know what the big white box is around here all about but anyway in the game you can play as a medieval ruler at any point in time from a lowly count to great emperor when your character dies you need an heir uh, to take over and so on down the ages unlike most other games the starting situation is historical and thus completely unbalanced yeah <laughs> check the estimated difficulty of a ruler for your first game we strongly recommend playing a special learning scenario as king alfonso the sixth of leon i think we should play the learning scenario let's go for it What's this all about? What? Why is it... I'm hoping this big white box goes away, to be honest. It's gone away. Good. Behold! The world as we know it. It is the year of our saviour, 1066. As you can tell, it is divided into distinct regions, counties, each controlled by some ruler or another. Crusader Kings 2 is a game about those rulers, Ear their families, relations, intrigue. Ooh, there we go, eh? Um, and power, be a conqueror or a peaceful family, father, as you will, but know that most other characters will lust after more land. More counties. The here is a real time game. Close this window, unpause the game by pressing the speed widget. Speed widget? That is the space. The space is the speed widget. Okay. I've, I've unpaused the game. What I'm meant to do exactly? Is it going to give me a hint? Here we go. This is you up in the left corner. Clicking the portrait will give you more information about King Alfonso VI and his family. You can also click the crest next to your portrait to get information about your country. Okay. Click the portrait to find out more about your ruler and his family. Note that you're currently unmarried and your heir is your brother, the King of Castile. Should you die at this point, you can keep playing as him since he is of your dynasty. Yes, that means he would inherit Leon and be King of Two Kingdoms. Oh, that's a bit laggy. Eh? Oh, ah, yeah, your brother is heir to the King of Leon. Okay. My parents, King Fernando the Great, is dead. Your mother was pretty. Alright, okay. Oh, my grandparents are dead. My mom is still alive, though. Siblings. Is a close member of your dynasty. Is. Okay. 
Clicking any portrait of the character view, this screen can take... I'm just reading loads of text boxes, everyone. I do apologise. The bottom half of your character to a close relations, yep. Feudal lords, vassals, yeah, I see the last stuff here. Every character in the game has an opinion of every other character. The tooltip for the opinion explains the reasons in detail. Where, where is that? Every character has a... So if I click on... Oh, wait a minute, wait, let's click on... Is that how I see my opinion? Ah, opinion of... Alfonso. <laughs> That's me. Okay. The dynasty of the character is shown on the top right of the screen. A valid heir will always has to be one of your own dynasty. You should strive to expand your dynasty to make sure members hold as many titles as possible. Blah de blah. Where, where's the dynasty thing? Is that the house? I'm assuming that's the house. Some portraits have little symbols on them. Star means the character is currently play. A crown signifies your heir. A little drop means it's of your dynasty. Okay. Okay. So, King of Leon, there you go. The upper part of the screen contains information about the landed title. Uh, organised into a tree type structure with empire titles in the top and barons in the bottom. Okay, so they're my county. Alright, I've got it. There are quick buttons to create, user, claim, or revoke titles from the screen if applicable. There's also buttons to create all living claimants to the title and buttons show all the previous holders. The lower part of the table shows information the title holders yeah, and its budget. Okay, so if I click on that, Linux Succession. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, so I'm down in the county. City of Giljon. Mayor. Okay. Got it. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. I don't really have it, but you know what? It's fine. We'll go with it. Okay. Do I need to unpause this a little bit faster? Oh, so it's paused. In the same screen, you can also see your attributes and traits, representing your skills and personality. Characters can also have ambition, which represents their current short term goal. Whenever an ambition is fulfilled, the character will gain a reward, such as prestige or piety bonus. Click on the choose an ambition button. Okay. Where's... Oh, that's it there. Choose an ambition. Amass wealth, become exalted among men, get married. Once you get married. Yeah. There we go. I want to get married. <laughs> Here it is. You will play as a succession of characters from the same dynasty. Down the ages, in this learning scenario, you will be safe from attack and eternal strife until the rule turns 40. When that happens, Alfonso will die and the learning scenario will end. When he dies, you can keep playing a normal game as an heir, or feel free to navigate him as you wish, but note that if you do not follow the learning scenario instructions, you might miss out on further help. Fine. We're basically going to get handheld through this entire game here. So this is not going to be the most exciting, I think, of uh, Steam Library Adventure videos, but we'll keep going, because um, I've actually started this quite late tonight. Um, so really, I think this is going to be a tutorial, but it could surprise me. If it's only 10 minutes long, then we'll be done quickly. God. We just seem to keep getting pop-ups. The main currencies are wealth, prestige, and piety. Okay. Wealth is money. Yep. Prestige is how much prestige I have. Piety is about clergy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's great telling me about my score at the end. I don't really give a crap about my score at the end. I'm just looking forward to invading. During the learning scenario, you get messages like this to help you figure out what you can do next. You are, however, free to click around and do things on your own. Whenever you run out of things to do, it might be check out the alerts that appear at the top of the screen. Are they alerts? Oh. We got it. 
course. That myself. I think I'm sure what? Oh, two week thing can be pressed. Really, I'm married. You should get married. Yeah, yeah, I know I should. The diplomacy wins. What? Okay. I just said with that hint. How do I get? How do I find someone to get married? Click on character, right click to show dismiss button. How do? Ha. Ha. Arrange marriage. There we go. There we go. I can arrange a marriage. Is that their age? I'm. I am not. I'm not marrying a, a. How old am I? Thirty-six. Princess of Aragon, eh? Sister of King Sancho of Aragon. That's. What does it say? Oh, she's lustful. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. Oh no, wait a minute. She's in the same dynasty. I know. I know it's. Yeah, but no. What have we got here? What are these here? I'm thinking, uh, maybe Gunhild, Princess of Denmark. I mean, she's 10 years younger than me, though. It's a little bit creepy. She's got bad opinion on me. Bad times. Um, got anyone else? I kind of feel creepy, but, you know, what's this? She is... I mean, there's got to be a reason to. Oh, look at that! Shit, again, she's not my same dynasty. I mean, she's like my cousin. I mean, I know that's what you're meant to do. Do I have a claim to that title? Do I have a claim to Castile and Galcia? I don't have a claim to Aragon. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to marry her. Oh, she's married. Why is it even. Oh no, that, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Princess Sasha is married? She, what? Why is it even letting me see that? That's stupid. She's not married though, the princess. What's she got, anything useful? Is she actually like heir to anything? How did I find that out last time on her before? I don't actually know how, how did I find that? Ash, there it said heir. He was an heir, I want to be an heir. Heir to the King of Aragon. He's married. She's not. Oh yeah, you're, 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 you're it. How do I, how do I, how do I do that? How do I actually, oh man. I don't know how to actually ask her to marry me. Hmm. Diplomacy. Nope, that doesn't work. Hmm. I know I want to get married, but I don't actually know how to get married. Right, I've selected her. How do I actually... How do I actually marry her? This is annoying me, by the way. Use a plot. Killer. Right, no. Well, that. No. That's a bad move. Ah. Uh -huh. There we go. I right clicked. <laughs> right clicking on her. Uh, when you're posed, it will take them time to respond. In the tooltip for the target acceptance, the number of green plus signs exceeds the number of red signs, the pose will be accepted. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, when show? Oh, I, oh no, I can get married. What's this mean? How do I? Me. What does that mean? Under terms, of any children born in this moon will be of the mother's dynasty rather than the father's. No. Here you go. I've just wasted some time trying to get married. I have no idea if that was actually going to be one of the objectives anyway. Pause. Learning scenario. Depending on what you're currently doing, there are several map modes to your seat. Your default map mode is a terrain map mode. Okay. Independent realms map mode. Wait. Oh, it's down there. It's showing the borders of different realms in the world. We to check out the map modes. Okay. Got it. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's Leon. Where's Aragorn? Where is Aragorn anyway? Not be over like here somewhere. Wait a minute. There's Aragorn. Aragorn is tiny, man. So is Castile, to be honest. Hmm. Okay. I like this one actually. Oh my god, look how big France is. England, there's Scotland, there's Ireland. Hmm. Okay, uh, what else do I want to do though? I don't really, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Except I managed to get myself possibly aged. Oh. Although you do have a valid heir, having children besides your brother might die before you do. As soon as you have a son, he will be your new heir. Reduce the relationship you need to marry. The arranged marriage is found by clicking on the portrait. It's good for finding spouses. Yeah, I've actually done that, mate. I've already actually tried to get married. How do I actually see how that's going? How can I... Oh, there you go. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. No people respect wealth. Fuck right. Dear cousin, peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that King Alfonso the Six and Princess Uraka get married. Yeah. When looking at potential spouses, there are a few things you should keep in mind. Yeah, I just look for how to try and be. Yeah. Technically, marriage is the only way to secure alliances in the game. So try to marry into the close family of rulers you want to ally. Third, you cannot marry children, but you can betroth them. Right now, marry a healthy adult woman of shell-bearing age. But I've done. That's what I've done. I've already done it, game. I'm already ahead of you. I fill my ambition as well. Um, have a son. Yeah. That's definitely what I want now. I want to... When you find a good character to marry, right-click on their portrait to open... Yeah. Honestly, game, I'd already worked this one out, but thank you for um, for showing me. You might want to select a new family orientated ambition. Yeah, I've done that. I have done it. Okay, so we've definitely got that. The realm consists of a number of counties. The provinces on the map. Each county contains at least one holding. By clicking on the county, you see, among other things, its holdings. The holdings held by you personally are collectively called your demands. Unfortunately, the limit to how many homes you can control directly. This value is shown in the top bar. If you have more homes than your limit, you will start to suffer a serious penalty. I have actually allowed one more. There you go. County view. The map is the right number of counties. Yep. The holdings are the base of the game's economy and military systems. Counties have religion and culture. Right, the royal population. Counties offer different levels of technological advancement, which... Bishop of St. Annabin. So can I build a holding here? Could I? Oh, I could. What does this do, though? 
Tempo provides moderate income and good levies. So it's commercial, so it's a rich and fertile tax. Uh, high defense will provide the highest quality of levies. I kind of feel like building it. I don't have enough money. I don't actually have enough built money to buy that. The demand limit is the reason you need vassals. You can control more holdings than your demand limit allows indirectly through your vassals. Your vassals will give part of their troop levies and taxes to you. The limit to how many vassals you can have as well, which is why you might want a fewer but more powerful vassals. Vassals can also have vassals and so on. Vassals of the lowest rank will count with a copper portrait frame are not counted towards the vassal limit. Right. Get a vassal. You need to keep your ha vassals happy because their opinion of you controls how much tax and levies they will give you. If they dislike you enough, they might even join rebellious factions. Oh, terrible. Which can lead to civil wars. Bishops, priestly vassals who like the Pope more than you will actually send their taxes to him instead. Grr. Time for the Reformation. Taxes to him instead. All periods are represented by a number range from minus 100 to 100. And you can see exactly where they feel the way they do by hovering over the number. Okay, but how do I actually see them all? Um, how do I... Wait a minute. Let's click on my head. Vassals. There you go. There they all are. the difference? Wait a minute, is that the Pope? That's the Pope, eh? I, I see now, they like the Pope more than me. Got it. I understand. What's up? Why, why do you dislike me? Oh, because he was fired from the council. But he'll be upset for another ten years. Okay, got it. Um, you currently have one unhappy vassal. Yep, you can find this vassal by clicking on the portrait. There he is. Try to increase. You can increase it number of ways, giving him more land. You can also give them an honorary title or send them a gift. Okay. Oh, I see I can give them some of my counties. Hey, no. This will increase in by 26. Oh, yes. There we go. He likes me now. How do I get more places in my demands limit though? I don't I don't that's what I don't understand. I've had a peasant revolt. Okay. Um How do I, I get an army here? Right, to deal with the revolt, you need to raise your levies. Of course, it's going to tell me how to do this, isn't it? If you go to military view, you will see the buttons that allow you to raise your personal levies and your vassal levies. By holding down the control, when you click the button, you will avoid raising levies in counties with enemy groups. Eh. So, what, what do I do here? Raise personal levies, raise vassal levies. Ah. So we're pressing control. That what? Is that really what that said? If you go, you will see. By holding down control and you click the button, you will avoid rise, raising levies in. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, I've raised some vassal levies as well. 
Got it. Don't want me to do any more. All right, it doesn't let me do it. Well, it's okay. Uh, I should maybe have read the military view bit. See. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mercenaries tab list available. Mercenaries, holy orders, list of religious knighthoods. Yeah, I'm not going to do any of this stuff, am I? Table hint. Okay, got it. Right, I've raised. Oh my god, look at this! How'd you, how'd you use them though? Move your armies around, simply click on their shield to select them, and then right click on the province you want them to go to. Go down left mount, drag on the mouse button. Okay. Units are a collection of regiments of ships. Armies are organized in three parts. Left flank, centre and right flank. What? This is complicated, everyone. Oh, fuck. The map's actually been going on. Pause. What did we just... Where, where did we just lose? There? Oh, no. Not happening, man. Speed up a bit. Come on. Are you actually attacking me? Oh my god. No, we're not having this. Okay. Meet some other pony. My wife is pregnant. Yes. Oh my god. There we go. You're now ready to make peace. To do this, click on the war icon at the bottom right of your screen. You can right click the portrait of the character you're fighting over the diplomacy. Uh, offer peace? What does that do? Enforce. Enforce demands. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I won. Great. The difference in your levies costs you money. Okay. Military tab the same way you raised them. Okay. There you go. Did it. That would be a good time to expanding your realm. Finally, something I wanted to learn. The easiest target for military expansion are small neighboring realms. However, since you need to know about fleet operations, let's prick. Canarias, a single county realm just off the coast of West Africa. Ooh. Where's that? There they are, there! It's a sheepdom of the Canarias. They all... They all... What are they here? What are these little things, eh? What does that mean, though? Okay. Got it. You've moved all your armies to the same province, select them all by right clicking, then click merge troops button. You can also assign to the leaders of your army by clicking on the name bar above each flank. Um that's Oh, thank you for the whiskey. Well earned after all. Leaders can help you win battles, but there's always there someone getting killed or injured. Okay, great. In order to win the war and crusade as king, you need to cast his belly, a just cause. Valid cast his belly, for example, pressing a claim on a province that's rightfully you. Or waging a holy war. Okay, you're telling me these things. I'm clearly going to have to do something soon. When attacking across the street or river, you get a penalty for a fight. Click on a province and hold with the river alchem, if any, to see on which border the river and streets are. Know that if the target province is under siege, you'll need to toggle from siege view to province view. I've already done all that, mate. <laughs> this learning said I was a little bit behind where I got to, isn't it? Since Canaris is no distance, you can you claim to also be fabricated by a crafty ruler. Ruler. Yeah, you can't. You can unfortunately not use the holy war casting bell, so you must fabricate a claim. Okay. Open your council view, okay.
and assign your Chancellor to fabricate claims. Uh, what? How'd you do that? Ah! There you go, he's fabricating claims on Canarias. Okay. Each shows the council. Council can be do certain things. Cartridge will like you better for being entrusted with the position. Okay. Alright. There we go. I am fabricating claims on Canarias. I think. Alige! My work in Canarias appear seems to have come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Sheikdom of Canarias, presently held by Chief Gun Gu whatever. I leave it up to you whether to use it or not, your humble Chancellor. Okay. Ah. Uh, I don't actually have, have the gold of that, but it seems to have given me more gold anyway, weirdly enough. I don't know why that did that, but. Declare war. Okay. Right click on Clear War. The claim Canarius Cassius Belly. If we win the war, I gain the Sheikdom of Canarius. He loses. If we make white peace, if we lose the war. Okay. Fine. Declare war. Okay. Most of what she asked for dinner now would range from mildly unsettling to positively revolting. Still, scholars do agree that a pregnant woman's craving should always be accommodated. Uh, uh, she gains a claim of gluttonous. Fuck it. There you go. There you go, my lovely dear. If you're fighting an overseas enemy, you need to raise your fleet. Okay. Fleet levies tab. Aha! You should raise your troops and move to your coastal county. Right, so let's raise the fleet. Ah! I cannot do that. I must raise a vassal's fleet. Okay. Okay. Leave them to Ovidia. Okay, got it. Hey, we're doing this. Please, you don't have enough ships to transport the army. Sometimes, when you're at war, the levies from your demands and your vassals might not be enough. In this case, you need to hire mercenaries. This can be done by the mercenaries tab in the military view. You only hire mercenaries with that new capital county. They're very expensive both to hire and maintain. Take a look at mercenary composition before you hire them. Some are made entirely out of armies, while others consist only of fleets. Hire some naval mercs. Okay. No, that's the wrong thing. Uh, how do you see? Ah, there you go, there you go. Looking for a naval one. Uh -huh. Higher. I uh, see, look how cheap the naval ones are. Okay. What about you? Fine. Your pregnant to be wife more talkative and cheerful than usual. She never misses a chance to chat with anybody. Uh, my stewardship goes down both ways. Give her more health. Come on, guy. Resting in the dark has really helped my wife calm herself and clear her head. She looks in much better health and ready to deliver a strong child. Yas! There we a boy. Oh no! As you load your troops onto ships, bring your fleet to port by. Mer what? Oh. 
I have some major stuff. Pause a minute, pause a minute, pause a minute. Let's, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's, where's my military? I kind of feel like I'm losing out here. So let's, uh, army levies. Let's dismiss the fleet levies. Okay, how do you merge them again? How do you know how full they are? Need more ships. I'm confused. Ah, low capacity is a thousand. Bit in hell. Um Okay. Get some more ships. Come on. Why are you not merging? Merge with this. Ugh. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Why don't you merge them? Aha! Merge. Merge. There you go. Aha! We have embarked on the port. This is good. Right. Off we go. 2,000. That should be enough. To... Oh shit, they've got... No, that should be enough. They've, got... they've only got 1,000. I've got 2,000. This will work. Actually, can I buy... Uh... How many more fleets can I buy? Fuck it. Uh, one, two... I can only actually buy 2,000 more. That's not actually any help, is it? For this troop, how do I split them? Can I split them? Can I split an army? Yes. Mm. Look at this. Yep, I'll return them home. Let's go. There we go. We're going to do this. We're following the guide, my friends. We are following it. Let troops. Okay, we need to disembark them once they get there. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Right. Uh, here we go. Go for it, guys. The combat view. Give a new year. A daughter. Rubbish. You've let me down. <laughs> Just be among your children upon your death. Okay. Is this actual battle going on? I'm not going to unpause anything here because I want to read this. During combat, the three parts of the armies face off. Left flank against left, right flank, centre against centre, and right flank against right, left, okay. Combat starts in the skirmish phase when archers and horse archers are paramount. Eventually the flanks will close with each other and enter melee phase. Split commanders will pick attack depending on the martial skill which large turn is. Okay. We're all in the middle. Okay. I get stressed. Why am I stressed? Shit, did I lose? I underwent her churching after recovering and cleansing her health from recent pregnancy. She feels much better. Shit. I lost. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, That's really bad. <laughs> I've lost in the training scenario. No. Um, where's the military? Okay, you, go there.
great. We're going to do this. We're going to do it this time. Even now, the pranks and my wife's cradles and exotic foods have yet to stop. Uh, yeah, I think I think you've had enough, you big, you, you, you nasty lady. Eh? It seems my advice will endure for years. Every day passing, my wife keeps stuffing herself like a goose. Oh my lord. This is not good. <laughs> Right, how do we, how do we do this here? So we need to embark that army. Uh, what have we got in here? How many army have we got in here? How do we? Only five hundred and embark army. Thank you. So what we do is oh, is that it? Are the rest on this boat, are they? Maybe. Must be. Um How do you like, I don't want to split them all. New unit. Right, how much have I got here? How much do I want? I want nine hundred and sixty. How do, I, how do I change this? This isn't helping me. Um, I'd rather reduce the number. Oh my god. This, this doesn't... The problem I've got here is I can't I can't get enough boats to pick up everyone! Ah! Right. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I've got enough. If I get another two sets of boats. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mercenaries. This is this is embarrassing, by the way. Higher. Higher. That. I want to merge these guys. There we go. There we go. Embark. Rocket. Finally, 3,000 troops. This time. This time, you absolute jobbies, you're going down. It's a bit of an embarrassing stumbling attack there. Let's set. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a proper battle this time. This time, we're going to win. Maybe. And I hope so. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better this time. Overwhelming superiority. Yeah, we've done it. We're, bro we're breaking them. I think we're breaking them. What's happening here? When your army stop in enemy lands, they will start to besiege an enemy holding. In order to fully occupy a province, you will need to take every holding in that province. When a siege takes time and the attacking forces will be larger than the defending garrison, the more the attackers that number the defenders, the faster the siege will be. The fort level will also affect the time. Okay. Do you siege let your army or click in the province under siege? The siege view. If you want to win siege, you can choose to assault the besieging holding. There's no guarantee of success, however, and even a successful assault may come at high cost. Okay. Well, every army runs at morale and has no neighboring province to reach to it, it'll be destroyed. Wow, okay. Average morale. So what's going on here? Defenders get 1,095. So I do, I do outnumber them. I don't actually know how to... Well, it's 
how to actually go for no not go for how do you actually how do you what's this righteous imprisonment you can imprison subjects okay siege Look at my morale. Go morale. What? What is that? Princess Aruka of Castile. The Countess of Zamora seeks to kill King Alfonso VI of Leon. <gasps> Why does she keep to kill me? How rude. How is it going over here? They're losing morale. Okay. It's just taking time, this man. It's. I'm not sure. How... Oh, wait a minute. Attempt an assault. No, I'm not ready yet. Stop killing the besiegers, man. They took heavy losses. Okay. When offering... Oh, I've obviously taken the castle there. I have, I, have I taken it? Is that what that means? When offering peace, you have an offer of three options. Okay. You're now ready to make peace. To do this, click on the war icon at the bottom of the screen. Ah, we did win. We won that. Pause. So... I lost a fair few. They lost a lot. Okay, all for peace. Enforce demands, gains the sheet of Canaris. Leonor's claim in Canaris war has ended. King Alfonso the Six of Leon has won. Yes, I have, my friend. Right, I need to get rid of my levies. Uh, where is my bloody... Where's my army levies? Okay, we've dismissed the levies. Kind of feel like dismissing my fleet as well, actually. Dismiss, 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 dismiss. Hey, right. we now have the Canaries. Is, is that my? Is that my? Is that one of my demonses? Demonses? I, I can see it by clicking this button. Do not. It's actually clicking my head. Uh, um, confused. How do I see my own? I thought I could see my own demonses. I don't know. Look at all this craziness, eh, going on. Because I can't. That's vassals. That's my family. There's my kid, my daughter. Here to a lot of stuff. Alright, so you can see all... You can actually see it by clicking over me. That's them all there. Kingdom of Castile, Duchy of Castile. County of Osma. Oh my god, I'm actually heir to the Kingdom of Castile. Am I? Really? That's Castile. How old are you guys? 39. I have got a good chance here by the way of taking this stuff. Because, like, he's got, like, nobody. I'm really tempted to try and kill his wife, though, just to make sure. But then what worries me is he, re he marries some sort of youngster and has a baby. So let's leave it. Yes, my sick mind is already there. What have we got here? Alfonso Eminez has become Count. Of, uh, you need to have another, you need to have another baby. Queen Uraka. Let me down. Right. 
Now the war is over, you can dismiss your mercenaries and levies again. I've done that. Find a new target for expansion and consider placing your chancellor there. You can use the holy war cast spell against your Muslim neighbours. The latter can be a bit more risky since any ruler of the opposing religion might join the enemy. Yeah. Got it. Someone you're able to start a faction against you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can see this faction is leading on any other members in the faction's view. Some faction members might consider leaving a faction if their opinion of you has increased. But in many cases, you might need to get rid of them in some other way. What's this all about? Here you can see nobody's factions active. Vassals will create factions against their liege. Other vass other once a faction becomes powerful enough that members will present their liege if refused at civil war. What's the reason that she wants out of here? Does it tell me? Members seek to institute elective monarchy when sufficiently powerful prince of it may present an ultimatum. What? Oh no 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 <laughs> I'm killing my sister <laughs> Okay, got it. What could go wrong? Right, so what have we got here that we can some require a higher crown authority, which is also found. Okay, oh. You may see in the laws, some succession laws require a higher crown authority. Crown authority, which is also found in this view, represent how much legal authority you have. Crown laws such as this one indicated by the crown icon next to its name can only be changed once per ruler. Crown authority can only be changed one step at a time. Oh my god. Realm loss, crown authority. So what happens here? Uh, nothing invest centralization. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of there. Uh... Zero taxation. Oof. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to change any laws at the moment. Both your vassal limit and your demand size limit can be increased through centralization. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I gathered all that, but I'm not going to do anything about it at the moment. Um, who have you got there? Who are you allied to? What does this mean? Non-aggression, 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 non-aggression. Allied to the King of Aragorn. Fuck. Well, I'm not going to attack him then, am I? Who is the... Who's your heir, my friend? Prince Sancho? Oh, when do you go and have a bloody child? Not happy about that. Um... I don't know what to do here. Um, oh my god, is that... That's all the... Oh, aye, that's the Muslim country. But I'm going to lose if I try and have a fight like that, man. That is a big fight to try and pick. I mean, it's... <laughs> the Abadid Emirate... Uh, I mean, there's... What have we got here? The Asafid Emirate. I mean, that's quite a big... It's a big area to try and pick a fight with, and I think I might lose if I try and pick that fight. To be honest. I do feel that way. Um, I 
What have you got? Who's Yuri here? Why are you? However, I am Yuri here. So I'm not too worried about that. I think they might all come under me anyway. All this. If I'm honest. I'm kind of tempted to claim Navarre. Do I have a claim on Navarre? Council members, then let's go send one. Fabricate claims. What does all this green mean, eh? Green. Uh, this, this is like. Okay. Yeah, there you go, he's there. He's fabricating claims, my friend. I love the current authority, a restricted by technology level. In order to unlock the more advanced laws, you must invent your legalism. Found in the technology view. This is new. Legalism found in the culture advance, this technology can cost cultural technology points. Okay. Appears I'm just doing it normally. Uh, legalism. What's this? Okay. Okay, I can't invest in anything anyway, so I don't really get it personally. You've been given technology points for each of the three types of advances. Find some advances that interest you and click the corresponding button. Okay. No, wrong thing. Good technology again. Clothes. Who would have given technology points? Where have I got. What does it mean? Find some advances that interest you and click the corresponding invest button. Oh. Oh, I do. Alright, I've got some. But right, I don't have all. Okay. Uh, I'm not really. What does this do? Makes my army better. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's get some cavalry as well. Uh, we're going to make our things much more powerful. Let's do. Ammo. Okay. There you go, I've up loads of stuff. I've just done it. I mean I didn't really I just did it. So but bit confusing. Technology points are gained over time, but technology also eventually advances by itself if neighbouring provinces are more developed. I still don't really get the technology I don't really get the technology thing. I don't, I don't understand uh, if I'm honest what's happening there. Or maybe I should have read that bloody box, eh? What does that say? All rulers above the count accumulate technology points in each of the three groups. Okay. Uh, Alright. We mentioned claims earlier. Your character's claims in the Kingdom of Castile and Galcia. Yes, I know that. There might be a less risky way to press the claim than going to war, however. Okay. Let's see what this is going to teach me. I'm trying to get to Navarre. The king of Castile is actually your brother and you're currently his primary heir. Yep. To really make sure you inherit his kingdom, you should kill him before he can father a son. <gasps> well, to be honest, I'm trying to kill my sister in this game, so. Start plot to kill my brother. Okay. Okay, got it. Um, I didn't, I was kind of just going to plot the kill. Now you have a plot going, 
you need to help others to succeed. You can find potential plotters through the plot view. Aha! This is new. Known my plots. Okay. How do you end the plot? Uh, uh, I don't know how to do that at the moment. I'm ignore that one at the moment. Now we have plot going. Let's do my plots at the moment. Let's worry about that. We need the help of others to succeed. You can find potential plotters through the plot view. Not all potential plotters might want to join your shady scheme. However, the ones that are hesitant but still close to acceptable will usually come to a sense if you bribe them. To make this simpler, you can also check auto invite plotters. The right plotters. Uh, how do you know if they're going to be good though? Oh, 4%. Oh, wait a minute. Not willing, not willing. None of them willing? I feel upset. Oh man, he loves that king. Oh man, they all love him. This is bad. Uh, yeah, he, he loves Sancho. He kind of is bad, eh? It's, there's, there's no one that wants to join. <laughs> They've all got like a massive base reluctance. Kind of sucks. What can I get that makes them more powerful? What about you? Look at their minus though. It's like, yeah, it's so far down, it's crazy. Oh, wait a minute, that's the opinion of King Sancho II. That's... that's him. Ah. So, yeah. He's got low... Oh, no, no, that means... Ne that that means negative to me, the way. I get that now. I understand that now. That's a negative point, not negative to him. It took me a little bit to get my head around that. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be... Easy to uh, to do. That's two. But I'm only two there. Let's get you. Let's send you a gift. Right. What you like now? Oh, that's better. Really there. And another one. Right. You won't increase this thing any better. Okay. Uh, escape that, please. I don't want to do that anymore. I see. I can't invite her to plot, but it's let me invite him to the plot. It's interesting. Oh, no, it's not. I'm so close. How do I. Do you like me more now? No? You still don't... You still don't like me? You're fucking raging at this, man. What? This is impossible! It really is! Okay, let's speed this up a bit. I'm glad to accept. Okay. That's still not enough to make you like me even more. Why are you not willing to join the plot? This is pish. My god. Um, no one wants to join the plot of my brother. I'm not very happy about this. That's another one. If even if I send a gift, still not enough. I mean, that's still two. I mean, that's fish. 
Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, sorry, did I just rub the microphone there? Apologies if I did. This is annoying me. There's no way to actually make this plot work. I sent Stuart, Mayor Munich to a Wizard Construction accounting and the building fell apart. Then I sent him to collect taxes and he returned with much less. Well, the Mayor's not good enough. Oh, the Mayor will be happy. There you go, you've been chastised, you dick. How dare you do such an idiotic thing? Right, how's my intrigue going? How do we actually do it? Can you start a plot? Positions depend on the number of factors. How do you... I'm kind of annoyed at this, that it seems actually impossible to... Because everyone likes him. Look how much they all like him, it's pish. And even if I like him more, I can't over 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 pull that. See, still not enough. Ah, this is annoying me. Why does everyone like Sancho? Hate him, please. See, that's the one there. Look how close it is. I just cannot get him to... It won't increase his love of me anymore. I mean, they already love me. They love me so much. I don't actually know how to do this. How are you doing anyway? What are you up to? Currently in a jar to fabricate a clay. Okay. That you are. What does spy master do? Scheme. I don't know what he's doing. He's scheming. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed actually <laughs> at this bloody intrigue pish because it doesn't really work. We decided it's time. What? Let's see. The higher the plot curve, the more likely they are to find openings. I don't, I don't really understand. It just seems to. Okay. I can't actually invite anyone to help me. It's kind of annoying me. This one especially is annoying me. It doesn't actually get me any opinion of me any further. Just leave the plot running. I don't know what that plot does, but it, it's got a plot. I'm hunting. Let's hunt. The day's been great. Okay. I mean, I'm just sitting here, waiting and waiting and waiting. Yes. I gain the trait. Okay. Fine. Still not managed to get anywhere with this plot yet. Oh, I've got a backer. He finally backed me. Look at this. That's 77.3. Oh, have your spy master. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Where's my spy master? Build a spy network, yes, please. That's good. 
Have we noticed that? It's an investor of technology advance. Ooh! There you go. Zero vassal opinion. I like the idea of that. The title can be created. Why would I want to create titles? You know what? I don't care about that at the moment. We're, we're trying to get this bloody plot to work. 84% man. I really want some bigger, like, on me here. Eh. Uh, I need somebody that's not that does not love Sancho. They, see, you don't love Sancho. You don't love Sancho. Won't actually help me though. You do love Sancho. You don't really, but that won't be enough. That won't. That won't. That won't be enough. Uh, no, you won't be able to get enough there, eh? You're upset me. I can't get more than three, I don't think. I think get more than three pluses for how he feels about me. So unless he like hates. I kinda just want the plot to actually work. Oh, I use the burrs? City laws be set higher than ca Yeah, I agree. Fuck that, man. We didn't want the church she was. Anyway. Have you now? I don't know what that means, but I don't really care. At the moment, all I want is like... Yay! Voice Pragers again. My queen has asked me to rid of one of my courtiers, who she finds annoying. Yeah, whatever. Queen can fuck off. Well, some of the yeah, well, some of the, the the thing. I need to go hunting right now. Is it bigger than a chicken? What? Pause. Pause a second here. How can I get this plot? How do I get my plot to actually start? It just. I mean. It kind of feels. I don't know. Like. It's not really going to happen, doesn't it? Anything. I need, I need, I need, I need Sancho to be way under, under two here. I mean, I already. See, that won't help. Wait a minute. I said, I said, invite the plot there. I'm telling you. I think it just goes blue. Actually, one somewhere. Uh, That makes sense. Once I'm uh... Gonzalo, he loves me. I don't love him so much. They should not love him. He's mean. We'll just keep passing some time. Another fucking daughter, man. Fuck with the daughter. Mavar and Urakamari. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. Right, stop a minute. 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 Let's go to intrigue. Who is closest to being in my thrall? Oh, not that one. That one's not. Ooh. Eh, not really. No, they're not really that. 
How helpful are they, these? He's immoral, but he doesn't really like me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. send gift. Okay, I've sent a gift to him. Three. That's not going anywhere near. I'm still minus three. Let's make him assign a guardian. Bend. Okay, I don't think that's going to work, but. Okay. This is taking ages. Happening here? What's this? Monio mourns claims that he would be better secured than Mayor Monio. I rule the Kingdom of Leon. That's fine, you can be my steward. The other guy's a dick. I have no idea if he's a dick or not. I'm now just clicking buttons because I'm annoyed I can't get the plot to work. I kind of thought it would be a bit easier to make this plot happen if it is a tutorial. But I'm also going to lose... Um, I'm going to lose... Can you actually see what you're going to lose? Here to the county. So she will lose... A lot of shit, to be honest. Uh, she gets Canarius. So can I actually, like, disown her? So she doesn't get anything. How do you actually revoke a title? Do you want to do that? I don't actually want her to be. He's my courtier. Or does he actually get anything of any use? I don't think he is. These are useless people. I'm kind of annoyed. I kind of want... To... Run away! I'm going to survive this fight. So I'm just passing time here and nothing is really happening. Yeah, whatever. You guys have or whatever your fight is. How do I... This is annoying me. I don't get how to do this bloody intrigue thing. It's just not working. What are you doing? But the plot's 84%, man. How does this not work? What? It's kind of annoying that everyone likes him. To be honest, if, if, I'm, if I'm honest with you, it does, it is a bit annoying that everyone seems to like him. Higher plot power, most, and how many smart bars will plot will further increase your plot power? Okay, but what, how do you actually, how do you actually do it though? Right, they're just looking for backings, okay. I don't I don't really I still don't get how we can actually have it. Oh no, I'm I'm ill. I'm ill. How old am I? Oh yeah, we know I die at forty, don't we? I've asked for help. Who's having a war here? Alright, you guys are really having a battle, aren't you, over there? I'm alive! I'm going to die soon, by the way, and I've not actually achieved what I wanted. Which was, um... How did you disown her? Remove her. I want to remove her bloody tail. I don't know. I don't want her to have. I want. I don't want her to have the county of Canarius. It annoys me. 
region. Whatever. I'm fighting the numbers and defeating them. But being as I'm about to die, I'm, I've not done what I wanted to do, which is basically done nothing. All I've done in this entire game is gain Canary. I think it's torturing. I don't know why I'm torturing them. Yeah, great. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't really. What's this special character action? No, I'm not going into hiding. Title view. How would I change this? The princess. Make primary. What does that mean? Land of the Jure that never changes, so represent ancient traditional geographical regions. Okay. Uh, whatever. Um, I apologies, everyone. This this is not really doing much, is it? Oh, my sister's died. My mother's died. Uh. Yeah, it's great. You guys learn all these shitty things. Give Monio a chance. Uh, no. Oh, I've died. That's me dead. King Alfonso has given up the ghost at age 40, as the game said he would. I've lost the title of the Canary Islands. Regent and Council. Okay. You have a new heir, Princess Uraka of Urlon. Your wisdom and mercy legendary have been appointed your regent. Okay. Stop a minute. Stop a minute. I want to check something. Oh, look, I'm getting marriage proposals now all over the place. So, is this a vassal of mine? I don't understand whether that she's now a vassal. Ah, she is. She's a vassal now. That's what I thought. She's my heir. She is the heir to what exactly? Is that me? I'm Queen Sasha, so I'm heir to the Count of Canaris. And where she's the heir to all my stuff. So, yep, that, that makes sense. So, in reality, I didn't want her marrying anybody. Anyway, you know what? I'm, I'm yawning away, so I'm going to stop because I'm kind of annoyed that the plot didn't happen. I think the plot's gone now. The plot's gone now. How fucking raging is that, man? Kind of annoying. But anyway, everyone. Uh, yeah. We're done. I'm not, I don't know what to say about that game. You know, I played it for over an hour and I didn't really do anything. But strangely enough, found it intriguing, enjoyable. Kind of a mix of both. I'm a bit annoyed that the tutorial didn't actually, you know, let me kill my brother. And that's the weirdest thing I've ever said out loud in, in any video I've done. But you know what I mean? For those of you who watched it. I just, um, I can definitely see myself, you know, that's a game I'm just going to play, you know, an hour here and there, um, continue, you know, some sort of um, dynasty. Yeah, there we go. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep playing that game. 
It's intriguing. Um, so clearly a lot I have not touched on playing the tutorial. And I'm going to have to try and resist playing in Scotland because Scotland is clearly going to be fucking difficult, I'd imagine, being they've got England to the south. Um, but I might give it a go, actually. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Scotland. And I'm going to enjoy it. When that bombs you, uh, we'll finish this video. So, just a reminder, everybody, if you'd um, like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. Or if you want to watch live, follow me on Twitch. Until next time, goodbye.